assembly wa newspaper nemu se ndc fo akọ tenase aka se se gana ban ejitum kra se yani america military joint corporation ni ebe nya no ejitum kra na omo ba ba mu a on besa atwem enti yenya expert bi wo phone line so eh ono so de eh ban bon hu hihe hu de wasu am mu ade akon kan kakra so we are getting on the line with honorable kofi amakwini he was here recently and he is the mp for atebu amenti constituency he is also a member of, uh, of the committee on youth sports and tourism in parliament he's also a member of the vetting committee he's a businessman and entrepreneur customer and more t-shirts and more and a customer service company limited honorable good morning good morning Abedi. hello good morning good morning sir honorable you're here now so and i paid you yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah, 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 but the Aku, the Aku, I said, you get Tiani, uh, and this work, I can't be seen. Ghana, U.S. Joint Military Corp, uh, you know, yeah, 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 no. Mutu, mutu, tanya, and this is for about, I'm a sanctuary, you know. It's near, it's a say, wow, Sebi, West, you know, Bambo, uh, 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 yeah, Kakra, no. Uh, Kakra, who can't find you, yeah, yeah. Yo, you know, I'm a demonstration of pain, uh, in Chia, I'm a new, Parliament could not I 
amend or alter the agreement. Supposedly, if even it's wrong, or if even we have substance in it that will not help this uh, country. So I don't get it, where they are coming from. I would have loved to see that they wait until after the agreement is considered and they still find losses in them. But something that has been, it's even not done yet. It's even not finished yet. It's not debated yet. We haven't completed the agreement yet. So I don't even understand what is happening. Meanwhile, you have a repres full representation at the parliament. Mm -hmm. All right, Honorable. Thank you very much, and we are grateful for your contribution. We, 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 th yeah. we Are you going to be in parliament this morning? I'm almost there. Oh, okay. So probably we will call you again to find out, and we will have our representative come to the parliament to follow the proceedings this morning. Thank you very much, and I'm grateful to you. Have a good day. You too. Yes, viewers, we have here, uh, we just spoke to Honorable Kofi Amakohene. He's, he's well versed in security issues and also a member of parliament for Atebu Amente constituency. He's also a regular guest for this show. We have here seated with us Albert. Um, as many. Albert is a, a financial analyst and he is also well known in financial issues. Albert, good morning and welcome to the dialogue. We are good. Your shirt is nice, eh? <laughs> nice African fabric. I'm, I'm copying you. Oh, how can you? This is, <laughs> this is a nice African suit. Yeah, I'm trying. You know, <laughs> taking Ghana to the world, you know. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Albert, yeah, yeah. how are you doing this morning? I'm doing well, my we, we, we called you to just talk to us a little bit on this this take over days it's like i i don't say it's it's, it's more like uh there's a game we used to play when we were kids i've forgotten the name like the, the strongest take over the week and that, 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 that. now we are having on the front page of the daily graphic 272 financial institutions in distress others in the past are attributing it to some prophecies that dr baumia said but others are also saying that, oh, it's because of the mismanagement of the economy by the current government that all these financial institutions are in shambles and they are kind of they cannot find their feet. You are a financial analyst. In, what, what do you have to say on this? Uh, thank you. I think this issue is not is not something new. Those who have followed the financial sector for a while will know that. Even way back in 2015, mm. 2016, Dr. Baumia made mention of these things. So it's not something that somebody will sit down today and say. Dr. Bami, I remember, had a lecture saying that about eight banks were going to collapse. Mm -hmm. So I think it's something that he saw it coming. And it's, it's, it's not uh, 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 the doing of this current government. That's what I have to put it. Because when Baumia was talking about this thing, MPP wasn't in government. True. But because he had worked with the Bank of Ghana and knew what was happening, he knew that this thing would definitely happen. So it's not, it's not, it's this current government. I will not blame this thing on this current government. But you have to look at the management of these institutions. What are they doing? What is their capitalization? What is the Bank of Ghana? It is something I don't also want to also blame those institutions too much because we have a regulator with the Bank of Ghana. Mm -hmm. See, what are they also doing? But I'm happy that even with these three banks that have been taken over, at least depositors are assured. Albert, you're deposit only speaking English. They are short, but in their hearts, I saw some people in, uh, I think, the Unibank ATM, and they, trust me, they can kill to that just is, make the ATM that, that, work. That is what we call panic withdrawal. Is when these things happen, people will rush and go and withdraw. But uh, of course, I would do same if I have money. Exactly, in the bank. because honestly, because uh, I don't, I don't want to disclose something here, but uh, I have a relation that also has an account with Unibank. Uh, Unibank. That evening, I think Tuesday evening, he was signing checks. I was there, that we have to go and, and withdraw, withdraw everything, everything uh, the Wednesday morning. And I told them, No, hold on. Because you see, what happened with uh, UT and yeah. Capital Bank? Yeah. I don't think a single Ghanaian lost, lost yeah, a penny. You understand? Because it's how, because, and it, it's, it's normal because you don't know what is happening. You feel that it's going to affect your deposit. Mm -hmm. But these things are, I think, with the, the Unibank. Bank of Ghana has appointed a new management. Mm -hmm. so I think uh, 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 KPMG is taking over the management of uh, Unibank. And 
with the support of the central bank, I think the depositors should just relax and rest assured that they are, they are depositing their safe hands. Robert, you are just you are just sounding inspirational right now. No, that, that's Trust that, you me. No, I, I, I heard a guy's story who's saying his mother was in the hospital and he needed money to to pay for drugs and stuff. Yeah. And I think he did also follow the news. Of course, if your mom has been sick in the hospital for three days continuously and you find yourself in the hospital morning, afternoon, evening, yeah. you probably will have less time to follow news and stuff. And he goes to withdraw money. Let's take this scenario from Kolebu ATM. It's not working. He comes to Accra. It's not working. And down to pay recycle. It's not working. He spends the little he has chasing ATMs only to realize that people are doing the same and the bank itself has been placed on hold or switch of management. Yeah. Would you be furious? These have been the past stories of God is love, blah, 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 yeah. Ghana's history with the financial market. And there was an old article, I think, I sampled on that. I don't want to quote wrong, but even Barclays at a point in time pulled it out of Ghana and came back. Yeah. You see, I, 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 I agree with you. You see, when these things have, that's something where these things happen, everybody, <laughs> let, me, let me share this joke with you. <laughs> when we're in school or <laughs> campus, one guy just got to the ATM and he saw a long queue and of course on campus you don't want to keep much money yeah, in your yeah, room yeah. so even if you are going for lunch you want to yeah, pass you take by your the 50 ATM CDs, yeah. ah, one guy got there and saw a long queue he rushed to the bank, withdrew his money and went inside the bank and told them tell her keep this money for me the way people are withdrawing outside I'm scared they will take my <laughs> <laughs> are you serious? So you're scared they will take his money? exactly because he doesn't understand how the system works he feels that since people are rushing on the ATM his money will go <laughs> exactly so I this, see. It's, it's, that's, that's just by the way. So when people hear that, even though... Yes, that's a panic something, That's a you panic know? withdrawal. You see, that's what I'm saying. It's bound to happen in issues like this. People would still want to withdraw their money. I have a church. My church saves at... Uh, uh, we have a bank account with Unibank. You understand? Did you guys do a panic withdrawal? I'm a ch church treasurer okay. anyway. So we have a financial committee that we are working on a project on a friend put it on the on the platform that you that need to withdraw your money right now no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you understand so i had to tell them that no please this is what is happening so just let's relax i don't think uh, unibank is just going to collapse and you are going to lose our money so we can do that later but you shouldn't rush in doing uh, the withdrawal because see what happened i think people also are rushing with this unibank because of what happened with yeah that's what i'm saying bank because you to see, capture bank you got to love point, all this stuff it got to a point no customer of ut and capital bank was able to assess their funds mm -hmm. at the time they were synchronizing the mm -hmm. system you need the time to synchronize exactly the system. and you know in this it world when things like this happen it might be a little jam yeah. and and you can't even have access, access to, to anything nothing is working atm is not working for about four or five days so people were scared that hey i'm are we sure we are hey, going to get it, Charlie, if you used to keep your money under your sack and your pillow and your bed and now out of education and media <laughs> and civilization yeah, yeah, yeah. you decide to take it to the bank and the banks are behaving this way Charlie. yeah yeah, yeah. that is that is that's a cause of uh, uh, worry and th i think we have to also also put this thing straight to the central bank that that whatever is happening at least the central bank should also come in Mm. You see, because I don't, I don't want us to always be blaming. You have to also look at the licensing issue, how they yeah. bring in these institutions. Because every day you see new bank coming, every day new bank, every day new bank. These are the results that we might. Okay, see. isn't it a sign of? Isn't it a good thing we have banks coming up every day with good? It, it's, it's good, but you have to also check: Are these guys capable of managing these uh, uh, institutions very well? Because. You are putting you are putting uh, 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 Ghanaians also at risk mm. because if everybody is uh, 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 sending his or money to the bank and at the end of the day this is what will happen to me then you are even discouraging me from even saving in the bank exactly or the bank. and 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 the the risk in uh, 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 putting your money in your house cannot be compared to taking to the bank so uh, me I'll not no matter what I'll not advise anybody to keep his or her money at home because it's not safe and aside being not safe. Even biblically, it's not it's not wise to keep your money at home oh, without how? getting any interest on it. But I Remember this parable of talent. Yes, you understand. But you ask them to keep it there. No, when, when, the, when the, exactly how do you uh, how does your money work for you if the money is under your pillow? When the money is in the bank, trust me, the whole at the end of the year you get 
maximum 2%. No, that is where maybe where you decided to put it. But if you put your money in the bank, you have other investments that you can do with the bank. So, T-bills are there. Okay. Other banks are having uh, 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 investment policies. Even our own bank, I don't want to mention them, but our own bank has a policy that they run at the same rate with the treasury bill. Mm. So if you put your money there, at least now that the treasury bill has even come down, at least you are assured of 12%. Mm. You understand? So just don't go and dump your money in your savings account and say, oh, I'm waiting for that. That one you won't get anything. It's just for safekeeping. Ah, but you dump it to the savings account when it's Friday, you go and catch some more, put it in pocket, boys, where to go spoil it and At least, but, but the man <laughs> has to be working. How many Fridays can you go and spoil it and come and meet another man in your account? No, then it's going. When so it you should, have, it so you should have the one that you spend and the one that will work for you. At least if you are not working, your money should work for you mm. somewhere. So at least with investment, I would advise anybody to at least try and do a little invest, no matter how small. You understand? You need to see. So looking something. at the financial market right now, what would you advise guys or probably youngsters to, to channel or try to save in? Oh, okay, honestly. We all know some of the banks are doing very well. I'm, I'm, I, I'm very aware you don't want to mention names yes. or sell any other banks yes, or yes, brands yes, on this exactly. platform. But, I mean, some people will be sitting, people have money. I see guys now riding Mercedes and stuff. Yeah. Young guys making quite good sum of money. And some of them have less ideas how to invest, how to channel their money to raise money or make their money even work for them. Yeah. So I think what what I can advise is that since we don't want to be, because I me myself I'm having some small policies with other banks. Oh, I see. Yes, it's 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 not much. You see, one thing we have to know is that saving. I w let me let me let me even touch on this thing. No matter how small you earn, mm. you can still save. True. For me, anytime I take my salary, I take my tight ten percent out of it. Mm -hmm. I take ten percent. Oh, yes. I see. Before you you tight the church and tight yourself. I, I don't call it <laughs> tight, but I feel I'm that just... I feel that my savings should be equal to my tithe. Oh. Yes. Interesting. Yeah. So that is that is what I do. Mm. And I uh, honestly, about four of my friends have been able to convince them and they are also doing the same. I'll try and, and see, see how it works. It's difficult for you to even take money. It's so what, what what I have done is that I have placed a standing order on my Really? That at the 30th of every month, I know by that time my salary would have been in my account. Mm. They should take that 10% into my savings account. Uh, so I don't withdraw and go and even deposit. It's automatic. automatic. It goes. And I have this kid's account for my son. Uh, There's another standing order on it. Mm. It goes there. At least that one for his school fees. Mm. So at the end of the month, or at the end of the term, when I'm going to pay the fees, at least I go into the account. If it's not enough, then you that's where... Up. I have to do some top up because it's difficult for me to take all my salary to my house and say no I'll save this thing. No, you can't. <laughs> you end up spending exactly. It. So aside you doing even that, you can go in for T bills. Mm. That one is cut across all the banks and it's the same interest yeah, everywhere. Across. Yes. So at least with that one alone you can do and of course you can have other investment that you want to mm. do. That one we have to be, be, be mention the kind of investment, yeah. but of no, which is not allowed few. on this. Uh, exactly. Well, if you want us so to mention your names and your banks and your investments, they should come, come on board. Come <laughs> see, come see Albert, <laughs> or come to the client service. They will help you out. Well, this is the dialogue, and we are touching on this financial institutions and their problems vis-a-vis -vis what is happening in government. The NDC is saying that they will be able to scrap off whatever agreement Ghana has with the U.S. military, even if it's approved in Parliament today. So we'll see how it goes and we'll see what happens after that. But we'll not deny you your chance to air your views or come on the show. You can join us by phone now on 0240-550-899. 0240-550-899. Also, you can send us comments, questions, and uh, messages on WhatsApp and on Facebook. We are streaming this show live on Facebook at Net2TVGH. Net2TVGH. And please, when you call, please, 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 Turn down the volume on your TV set. If possible, mute your TV set so we can have a very smooth discussion. We'd like to talk to you and we would like to hear what you're saying as you hear what we say. Please turn down the volume of the TV set or on your TV set or mute it if possible. We would like to talk to you. Albert, I know we were talking on financial issues, but trust me, Ghanaians wouldn't let us go. I'm looking at a, a, a newspaper topic like 20 
drug peddlers arrested in, in Accra and look at the way they are, they, they are, they are being handcuffed. This, it, this looks to me like I'm watching a Kumawood movie. It's like a Kumawood movie. Look at how they are handcuffed. We have a caller on the line. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning. I'm, I'm from Atlanta, Atlanta. Okay, go ahead. How are you doing this morning? Uh, you, the the that because of my opportunity, I'm my head You hear that one say? Now, I never go on. I say, I say, you say, you the way I not to the room. Uh, I can't. Go for the be just in Kaka and this No more be over. Oh my, you say, I never be a. I'm not be you be a. No, I'm back to say. From three ages, says. Because I make a deal out and then let it at the end. Why I didn't have to say, Crow, I can't cry. I'm going to go home and make a Rwanda room. Rwanda and this I can see now. I'm going to go to the world. 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 I'm going to
Sana Mama Kai Primary 6. <laughs> anyway, I mean, that, that is his submission. Albert, we were on this topic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, as, as I was saying, I think uh, the president is it's, it's very much aware of how the police is a bit handicapped. Yeah. So, I think he has... But it, it's been like this from... It, it's I, 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 I kind of grew up around the Brakatu area. I've seen these things since I was a kid. Look at the kind of people you are treating. And if this the, yeah, and these people are really, really as dangerous as we tag them, drug peddlers. Honestly. It, to me, it looks like a common movie. How, how, how strong are their even clothes? To yeah. Even the clothes are, don't even look strong. <laughs> you see? And if, look, if two of them, the, the two of them, or if each of them decide to coordinate and, to and untie it, <laughs> I'm not sure we have even 20 policemen guiding no, these no, 20 no, no, guys. No, at, at all. At anyway, all, we have all. a caller on the line. Hello, good morning. Good Hello, good morning. <laughs> yes, I'm Matilda. I'm just a free pram pram. Oh, Matilda, it's the same. Uncle Pondo. Now, pram pram, what was the same? Uncle Pondo. You're Matilda, it's you. I'm just a person who has a free pram pram. I'm a person who has a free pram pram. I'm a person who has a free pram pram. I'm a person who has a free pram Yeah. 
a crowd in Mewtwo TV, no? Why? Hello, good morning. Good morning. Your name and where you're calling from? I am calling from... Uh, my name is Kwesia Kutu. I'm calling from uh, Cantonment uh, here in okay. Accra. Please go ahead. Uh, you people were talking about... I bet you were talking about Kuma Wood. And this Kuma Wood, don't forget that apart from the addresses tied together, there's a gun standing on them. So they can't do anything. Everybody fears... Everybody here does. Yes, if these yes, guys decide to break loose, nothing will let that policeman shoot a single oh, one of them. Oh, Abedi, you lie. Oh, look, these people would even gun, uh, 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 how do they call it? Gun, uh, 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 gun, uh, how do they call it? Uh, when they fire in the air, everybody starts to panic. So this is something different. Though. This is not cool. Everyone yeah. to fear guy. You can't look in the eye of a guy and run away. Anyway, I get you. I get okay. you. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you very much. That was quite hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I also disagree. Look at where the policeman is. Trust me. If, look, let me let me tell you this quick story. We used to have this guy. Good morning. Yes, you don't know where you're calling from. I'm calling from Tara. Okay, what's your name? Yeah, uh, I want to... I'm Kosi. Okay. I want to contribute to your program, eh? Go ahead, sir. Uh, the problem is this. You know, Dabna, uh, it's like, um, maybe the NPT, uh, they are not putting this work. Because we could have told them what they need at the place. If not so, you'll be doing this, people will think you are not performing. Mm -hmm. If you have crisis, let the people know that this is what I need, this is what I need. I always be forcing you to come to a man and direct and meet her. That is, they communicate, they are not forcing like the first person has said. They are not forcing, the NBC, they have a strategy that they could destroy you. Uh. So if it is bad, they put you at the office and this is bad. And you keep protecting the people who have done the bad. How do you think you, you, people will see that you are performing? That is true. Okay. And so what the MPP is doing? What are they doing? Are they now looking at, oh, this is the mess that we have to meet and tell them this ABC. We will not tell the people the truth. We continue to be, to be and the people, their mouth is very strong. If the professor, they cannot do that. Because some of us, we are not good in education. Then we can tell the right thing that happy on the ground. Yo. Okay. Thank it's you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, that was clear. Uh, Abed, this, the guy's submission, I, he's talking about the MPP people trying to get information down. I, and I think now we should seize from MPP and DC and exactly. put Ghana first. Exactly. That's, that's we should all work towards, I think I observed change in government from Obama to Donald Trump yeah. and how he maintained some of the CEOs and even at some sensitive points, yeah. he still maintained some of the guys until later. You know, I and think, I think even uh, Obama also did say maintain. maintain uh, who is, I think one of the top security guys yes, who was still with for a while. Yeah. And so, and you have people who've worked for over four, or five governments, five, five presidents, and it's still working. Yeah. Yeah. Faithful to the office and faithful to the nation. Exactly, not the party. Yes, it's the national interest. So I think that that should be the core because. So why can't we do that as a nation? You see, we can, but you see. I don't also know, uh, always blame the politicians. There are some civil servants, even even their behavior is far worse than uh, the, the politician himself. You understand? Because if you have a civil servant who is always looking for his personal interest, so when you come, he's, let me say, he's the chief director. Because he wants to protect his interest and not even the... He will be nice with you by uh, force. Oh, honorable. You know, we have a, 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 a seminar at Geneva. I have to go next week. Oh, we book your your, your, your flight your, and your, everything, your, your hotel, business class, everything. Oh, honorable, you are entitled to yes. four land cruises. You are entitled to two saloon cars. Meanwhile, you are not. But because you want to feel comfortable with you, you will want to push. And you, you know, in the patronizing or buying all those things, they get their cards exactly, and, and they do the. Uh, you see, the most painful aspect is that they do the negotiations on your behalf, side. and you sign. Sometimes you are too tired, you cannot even read through the whole document. That's where they bring, you see, when 
they want those deals. They will wait when the minister is in the leaving office. Okay. Then Minister, can you sign this for me? They see that what we are talking about. And then you quickly the just out of trust. Exactly. But then why do we do that as people? Like why do we do that? Honestly, we have genuine Ghanaians who are also doing their best to make sure. But there are others who are always seeking for their personal interest. We have politicians who are doing that. And I think the civil servants are more deadlier than the politicians. Do you think so? I'm telling you. Well, we'll come back to because that. We <laughs> will come back to that. Hello, good morning. Um, yes, your name and where you're calling from. Pato, you didn't even have to. Pato, I'm Joe. Joe, who's a friend? Because he was wise. Okay, Joe, what's up? I'm a friend of a baby.
Hello, good morning. Good morning. Yes, your name and where you're calling from? I'm calling from Ashama. That's your first name? That's your first name. Okay, first one. Eh, uh, now we know Minister no more hotter than so I'm going to ask you to ask me 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 to because we've been keeping that there free at the end of May the same will be true. You see, the old shots here are signed in the store. Oh, oh, my son and brother, no one better than you. Oh, oh, what did you say? You know, I signed in. Let me walk on. So, you see, we have a typical situation right now where some of the, 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 the CEOs or probably the ministers that took office, they had to finish signing or endorsing documents that were started by the previous and that's what he was talking about and so you just come and say oh um, honorable well, please, uh, we were talking we were working on this document and da, da 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 and sometimes i have seen i've been to offices sometimes 8 and 9 p.m and you have ministers and ceos have pile of documents to read through and sign and sometimes they engage their peers and stuff but Charlie, for one person to go through all that is it deliberate that i don't we have offices in the ministry that have to take care of certain things, but Uber <laughs> everybody will do that, but you have the final deal. Yeah, you get the final deal. Exactly. You represent the president. Exactly. And having seen any civil servant, like a lower, maybe a clerk, or just a secretary, a secretary somewhere a sitting at the public uh, accounts committee. No. Is it the chief directors and yeah. the ministers who always are to that place? When you go to the ministry, everybody will want to do his or her part. Mm -hmm. But you, the minister, have to do due diligence before you sign. Have it. <laughs> you don't have an idea what I'm talking about. I had a stack of documents. Is he? Is he? About Easy. 5, 10, 15 of 100, 200 pages documents. And, and some with legal clauses, some you have to research. Exactly. So, Jonas, that is what you have to engage other people. You see, you don't keep, um, and, uh, you, see, you don't keep those documents on your desk and sign it right there. Mm. You have to, before you even sign a document, and I don't think it's so urgent that you need the document. Uh, some uh, are time bound, trust me. Exactly, but I don't think. And some you want to push them for your political gains. Exactly. All those things you need to still do. You don't have to just rush through because you have a responsibility on those things. Because if, if you feel, oh, it's urgent, it's time, but I have to sign anything without reading. You say that the devil is always in the detail. Mm. So if you don't read, you will sign and you realize that the devil you was hiding somewhere. <laughs> so you that was so true. Yeah. That was so true. <laughs> well, we had Albert Asmeni. He's a financial analyst here with us on, on the show today. And we, we can tell he's, he has in-depth knowledge in finances. He's advised us how to invest without mentioning names, which he, if he had, I would have charged him for adverts. So, <laughs> yes, he did it. He was very careful. And we're hoping to have him again here on this show. It's a dialogue, I'm Abedi Anim, and we're getting out of here, paving way for Amofa to take over on the national agenda. Yes, you can join us still streaming live on Let's 2 TV on our Facebook pages, live at Let's 2 TV GH. We thank you all for being part of this show. We come your way same time next week and when you're living your life enjoying the weekend be careful be sensitive be civil to the next person don't react rudeness to rudeness just pay gentle meekness and kindness to anybody who is rude the person might probably be stressed out from somewhere or probably having a bad day just a smile and nice words to someone can make their day be a good person to the next person be a good Ghanaian and be a good